Good afternoon and welcome. We're coming to you from day two of the Fiji Symposium right here in Bangalore, the platform for all dialogue on financial inclusion. And with me today is Member Finance from Telecom Commission, Mrs. Anuradha Mitra. Ma'am, welcome to day two of the Fiji Symposium and thank you so much for being here. It's uh, the first Fiji Symposium in India and uh, it's a proud moment for all of us. Your thoughts on this? We're, we're actually very lucky that uh, Fiji has chosen India as the place to first showcase its uh, symposium. Okay. It gives us an opportunity to tell the participants uh, about what's going on in India on the digital uh, like financial so inclusion. In India. There's a lot going on yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, coming to uh, the potential of the digital financial services, what exactly is the potential for it to increase financial inclusion? I think it's, uh, it's given us a key to really uh, leap across the, uh, the huge divide. There was no way in which the traditional banking system could have really caught up with the requirements of the age. And uh, then in comes technology with the, uh, with the mobile phone and the instant connectivity for all. And I think the key to solving the problems of bringing in all these unbanked people into the financial system lies in the use of these devices, these, the, the new apps, the, uh, uh, the various services, and uh, more importantly, participation by so many um, players from the private sector, um, uh, payment banks, uh, uh, telcos uh, chipping in, instead of the traditional idea that it would be the banks alone who would uh, kind of take us forward. Uh, so what about uh, the benefits of Aadhaar and the unified payment interface? What are your thoughts on the benefits that this brings out into the public? Aadhaar actually is, um, uh, is, is kind of, uh, it, it was an inspired idea okay. that we give a number and then that's instantly your digital identity for such a huge population. And, uh, and then it's, I think it's a natural corollary that it sort of develops into a, a base for developing an a, a entire payment interface for the whole population. And in fact, the whole idea of the Jandhan, Aadhaar and mobile trinity is to kind of combine the three things together. Yeah. Ideally, there could have been a single number, you know, yeah. a single number playing that role. But as it happens, the Aadhaar, the mobile and uh, the bank, the bank system, they are in, the, in independent spheres. So the idea is to link them all together. So you have everyone with, with, with one common uh, point of interface, a common platform uh, for the delivery specifically of financial services. And uh, when it comes to next steps and the role, what is the role of the Telecom Commission to actually enable digital financial services in India? Yeah, actually, um, the Telecom Commission uh, uh, is kind of pivotal to the uh, to what happens next. Uh, partly because the Department of Telecom has to ensure that there's good, reliable, quality connectivity, not only in uh, the rural and a lot was spoken uh, during the conference as well, and will be spoken, I'm sure, about the need to connect rural and backward areas, but the quality of urban connectivity as well, the quality of service. Uh, that's, that's a concomitant and unless that's maintained at very desirable levels, the um, entire exercise may find a lot of, uh, sort of, uh, there might be a lot of hindrances to that. So um, as I was saying, the Telecom Commission is pivotal in that exercise. A lot of uh, investment is being made in the provision of optical fiber connectivity, bring the village, connect the villages at least on a broad uh, network and then ensure that there's Wi-Fi connectivity at the end, preferably in some kind of a market-driven model so that it's self-sustainable because everything cannot always be run by the government yes. the whole yes. time. Um, a lot of attention is being paid to quality of services in urban areas as well. So um, all these efforts are on from the point of view of connectivity. In another sense, also the uh, Telecom Commission is important because the telcos, uh, the telcos are uh, our licensees and the telcos have a pivotal role to play as well, both from the point of view of maybe branching into uh, banking type of services as well as in ensuring that their own transactions with their own 1.18 billion subscribers is to the extent possible completely digital. 
and to that end, uh, uh, by the way, they uh, operate in a kind of uh, decentralized network where they have retailers and franchisees going right down to the last point of connect with the consumer. Um, uh, the, it's, it's important that the message of digitalization of payment reaches there as well. So um, I think there's a lot of advocacy and training and explanatory action which needs to go into ensuring that the telco's own transactions are also completely digital and completely interfaced with the UPI platform with Beam Aadhaar and other, um, uh, other apps. So from both points of view, Telecom Commission is going to play an important role. That's great and we look forward to it. Thank you so much, man. Thank you so Thank much you. for being part of this. Thank you.